What do you got for me? Okay, well, first of all, I love your channel. I think you do great work. Um, I more want to know what okay. you would advise for like a early 20s. Yes, I know sometimes you don't like the early, early 20s women, but what you would advise for someone who has seen the struggle and doesn't want to replicate that. I didn't go to school for my degree. I work in social media marketing, but you know, there's nothing like super stability about that. And I more want to be taken care of. So I do the necessary things, you know, compatible and sweet and all those things. I want to know more like, I mean, in COVID, you can't really do much, but like, what do you recommend? Okay. I'm not sure on the question because first you said something about being early twenties and that I don't like it or what? Well, I mean, typically the younger, the younger the girl, the more you kind of like, are like, all right, girl, you know? It depends on what she's saying. Well, I'm saying, what would yeah, you yeah, advise I, I, for? Hold on. Well, I, I need to respond to that because I can't just leave that out there. When a, when a young woman's coming in giving her opinion, that's fine. But when she starts giving advice, I have to balance that out against her lived experience and her knowledge. So you can have an opinion, but when you give advice, it needs to be against something that's credible. That's when I tend okay, to brush it off. About that. All right. So definitely. you're young, you're younger and you want, what do you want? I want your advice on what you think I should do to get the lifestyle I want. I don't know what lifestyle you want. So let's start there. How old are you? 23. Uh, and what do you want to be married? Yes. You want children? Yes. How many? Two. Two. Um, you know what comes next? Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with the first child? I would not like to pay significant bills. All right. And do you live in the Northeast, South, or West of the country? Right now I live in um, the West, but I'm from the South. That's probably where I'd go back to. Okay. Um, so how much would a man need to take? How much would a man need to make to fund the kind of lifestyle that you and your two children, how much would he need to make annually to provide the kind of lifestyle you want? I would like minimum 300000 a year. And and that's like Atlanta dollars. Okay. So what kind of men make that kind of money? What do they do? Um, Just some professions. Athletes. CEOs. Doctors, lawyers. Okay. Uh, athletes. Let me go ahead and turn this. Athletes. CEOs. CEOs of what? Um... I don't know, actually. I don't know. Well, see, that's part of the problem, right? Because mm -hmm. you can identify what you want, but when I'm starting to ask you to fill it out, mm -hmm. it starts to get vague. What well, are some? Yeah, of, what I, are some I, of the? I, give me some. What are some jobs that you think? Or well, how about this? At what age do you think a man starts making around three hundred thousand dollars or more? Thirty. Thirty. All right. What's the oldest man you've ever dated? Um, early 30s. What early 30s meaning 31 or what? Like 35. All right. So, uh, number one, and what percentage of men earn thirty three hundred thousand dollars or more in this country? I'm not sure of the number. Less than five percent. Okay. So it sounds to me that you really don't have a firm grasp on reality of men and earning in this country. Because the first thing that came out of your mouth is athletes. That's concerning to me. Well, I didn't mean that they were, you know, husband material. Well, because, but when I asked you, but it's still concerning. Uh, and then CEOs. See, you have to understand what it is you want and the reality of getting it. You want a, an exceedingly small group of men Mm -hmm. and, and men don't start earning that kind of money until their late 30s. Between 45 and 55 is when men earn that kind of money, not early 30s. Okay. So would you marry, would you want to be married to a man who's 45? Preferably no. We probably would clash. Why? We have different interests. What do you mean? I feel like you probably would be a little bit further progressed than me and we wouldn't be able to see eye to eye on things. Well, do you need to see eye to eye what you want? 
Say that one more time. What does he need to see eye to eye with you on? I mean, um, well, I, let me rephrase that. I, I feel like we probably wouldn't have that much chemistry because I have talked to guys around that age and I feel like um, we just don't have as much chemistry. I don't care about chemistry. Like I have to put certain parts of myself away to be more. Ma'am, I don't know what you're talking about. Chemistry, what does that mean? Like, um, I don't know, just the younger... I have to be more mature and more like less youth, less youthful. Does that, does that make sense? Nope. Um, well then I, I don't know how to word it. I could do it, but I would feel like I would be less of myself, less youthful, less, less. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta be really direct with you then. Go ahead. Then deal, then date men. Then you don't want to look sweetheart. Go ahead. Tell me. You're not the asset. He is. Mm -hmm. You you see, you guys want it all. You want chemistry and love and connection. When you want a man who's making three hundred thousand dollars a year, so you don't have to work. I got news for you. You are going to have to get on his program. So if you got to put mm -hmm. up the hot, whatever the youthful stuff is, that's what you, that's the cost of entry to get a man who's earning that kind of money. If not. Go deal with a guy who's 26 years old or 27 years old making fifty seventy thousand dollars a year and you got to work. Okay. Because what, um, what I'm hearing from you is an, mm -hmm. a, 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 you don't seem to understand. Number one, one of the problems in our community is we value prize youth. Black people value and prize youth. When I say dating older, it is, it is, in our community, it's like a taboo. In other communities, it makes perfect sense, especially if you want a higher standard of living. You have to marry a man who is earning that. Look at your president. How much? How many years? How many years older is he than his wife? Are you asking me? Huh? Are you asking me? Yeah, Donald Trump is how many years? About how many? How, about how old do you think his wife is? I don't know. 40, 50? She's not 74. <laughs> and that's the point. Okay. So So what do you recommend I do? I don't think you I don't think you're going to How tall are you? 59. Dress size? 4 to 6. 4 to 6? Mhm. Mm how much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? 157. All right. Um, I don't think you'd be really cut out for the kind of man you're talking about. Um, Why? Because one, you are going to have to get on his program. He's not going to get on yours. Chemistry, all these other kind of things, that, that's, that's love talk. That's for young people. That's not for women wow. who want to be, huh? No, I'm listening. Go ahead, sir. You want physical shit, and you can have that, I'm, but it's gonna be, but it's gonna be struggle of. You want to no, be taken no, care of. You want to be taken yes. care of. Then that means a man who's that means a man who's making that kind of money. He's gonna have to have be at a certain place in his life. What is? And here's the thing. What is he gonna need from you? And it sounds like you said you're gonna clash. And I'm gonna tell you why you clash because you wouldn't know how to. Uh, serve a man at that level how would how, have you ever served a man yeah yes sir where I mean I'm from the south so we kind of I don't know ma'am I don't know I'm just as a 23 what's your longest relationship year and a half how old was he you're not gonna lie he was young he was my age it was it was years ago okay and how long ago years ago ma'am you're 23 it was when I was 20, but I haven't dated anyone my age since I was 20. Why? Okay, why not? Because I want um, to be taken care of. Yeah. I was more asking if, like, I, mean, I could have someone that I enjoy spending time with. I don't, I don't okay, but what, I'm, but what I'm trying to explain to you is... Yes, sir. I, your mindset yeah. seems to be set up incorrectly. Okay. okay. You, it's not about what you want. It's what okay. value can you deliver to a man who's in the top 5% of earners? You're competing okay. with the women around him. 
That's what you're competing with. You're competing with women who are already, you're competing with all the women who don't want to be, who don't want to work. What are you bringing to the table at 20, at, that's different than those women? And okay. so when I hear, you know, talk about chemistry and uh, things you'd have to sacrifice, you're already in the, you know, dating a guy at that age is one thing. Yeah, guys will date you, the possibility mm-hmm. of sex, but, but marrying you now. Because it doesn't sound like you have a, it doesn't sound like you're really in it for anything other than what you want. You want to be taken care of. Okay. What is he going to get for taking care of you? What, what is he going to get? Hmm? I mean, the what, agreeableness, what? right? That's what you always say. The agreeableness and the agreeableness the, the, is standard, though. Fitness. Okay. Agreeableness is standard. Okay. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, so sex is standard. Children, standard. Agreeableness mm-hmm. is standard. Mm-hmm. What special, what is he going to get special about you that he cannot get from the dozens and hundreds of women who want a man on his level? I don't know. We probably all are competing in the same way. Exactly. Which is why your mind isn't set up in the which right way. why so I got to settle for some things. Well, it's not settle. Which you, you don't want to see. I, I need you guys to take this word settle out this settled word is bothering you you don't qualify for anything better so it's like saying i settled to go to you know uh Uni- G- university of georgia when you wanted to go to ivy league but you didn't have ivy league grades or ivy league sats you didn't settle you got them where you could get and at 23 the kind of women the kind of women who get a man and do you care what race he is no no sir all right. So you said you dated a man who was older and you didn't, you guys clashed. No, we didn't clash. I just knew I had to be less of myself. What I, And what does that mean? Like, um, he was a white guy. So okay. like there are certain things I wouldn't talk about, certain ways I wouldn't talk, like certain Man, jokes I wouldn't make. Like I don't know what like, that again, means. Childish things. Like, I don't know. Her- I'm more of like a funny charismatic type so I felt like I had okay. to limit that well you had to be you had to be a grown up <laughs> yes welcome to the world but I feel like I would have a more enjoyable time in the company of someone more like me is that wrong to like want someone of a high status who's like I can enjoy no. their company no. more okay okay you want it all listen to me very carefully you cannot How have it all? all that's like a, a all right, simple you know no, it's an okay. In, but you want her to make three hundred thousand dollars a year. Pay attention. The man who's making that kind of money is working 12, 10, 12, 14 hours a day. He's a serious man. Mm-hmm. He's ambitious. He's driven. And a wife is going to be. I don't think you ladies understand what it takes for a man to be at that level. And what you're saying is you couldn't be youth. That's, that's exactly why, man. You are not ready. You're not you're not really cut out for a man of that level. He's mm-hmm. a serious man and he doesn't need a 23-year-old girl. He needs a woman. Mm-hmm. That's not an offense, but what where are your woman skills? Okay, I understand. Do you? Yes, sir. What are your woman skills? How can you help a man who's 40? Well, I guess being a helpmate, biblical terms, supporting. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. The, and that's the, why. The and, this, 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 and the reason yeah, I exactly. ask these hard questions is because women, young ladies like yourself, uh-huh. To, to overlook the men that really would be a good fit for you emotionally uh-huh. because you're looking for a money outcome. Ma'am. Who do you would be a fit for me emotionally? Uh, look, yeah, I'm about done with this part of it because okay. um, here's, the, here's the reason I'm about done with it because I, 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 I 72% of more women in this country, mothers have to work full or part time. Mm-hmm. I don't know why so many black women don't want to work. And then you deliver nothing of value that's special. Tell me what I need to deliver and it'll be done. 
All right. Destiny. Uh, Hello, Kevin. Hello. I'm just. <laughs> uh, you will never work with a man like myself or a man on my level. You no way. I mean, I mean, let me do this real quick. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hold on. Let me just tell you, you're cute. And you're probably used to getting by on your looks, but that ain't special, sweetheart. Okay. And you cannot step to a man who's got his shit together, who's going somewhere in life, thinking you're the prize. Okay. Your attitude is wrong. And you're looking for a quick fix. Deal with men on your emotional level because you're not a woman. You're still in the girl phase. Girls need boys. Women need men. So I tried okay. to cut it down because even the way you're asking questions is out of line. And I'm trying not to check you because you're young. You're out of line for what it is you want. You don't qualify for it. If you didn't look the way you thought, the way you look, and look, you wouldn't be asking for what you're asking for. You'd be asking for a regular guy. Okay. Can I ask a question? It's still going. <laughs> Go ahead, Destiny. You can ask a um, question okay. so I can be done with it. Go ahead and ask your question after the Go ahead, young lady. Ask your question. And okay. I'll get under Destiny. Go ahead. I don't want to be a little girl who needs a little boy. What do you recommend I do to qualify for the men that I want? Uh, th this is where the school is going to come into play. You guys are going to have to go learn how to do all this stuff because unfortunately you didn't learn uh, when you were at home in the community. You didn't learn it. So I don't I don't begrudge you, but where'd you go to college? Didn't go. You didn't go? No, sir. All right. Well, so you went, you graduated high school? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Where do you live? I live in Los Angeles. With who? Do you, you live by yourself? Yes, sir. Who do you live with? By myself. All right. You don't have to go to school for it. Because I don't know, you didn't learn it. And I can't, and I don't want to get too much further into it. You, you didn't go to college. That's a whole a whole range of people around your age and dating that you missed out on. So going straight from high school, it's going to be really hard for a high school and I mean, you know, so it's going to be real hard for a high school graduate to be talking about a man in the top 5% of earners. There's okay. just some, there's a lot of stuff. And if you want that, uh, I don't know why you want it other than the fact is you don't want to work, but you don't get it just because you want it. You have to earn it and deserve it before you get it. I'm going to college. Uh, all right. <clears throat> crazy yeah yeah but we'll figure something out i um first things first let me just let you know when i'm leaving but i didn't get the last part first priority you know the priority is i'll let you know when i'm heading out of town or what i'm deciding to do for the holiday okay and we'll go from there okay We'll, we'll try to make it happen, okay? If you want to see me, if I want to see you, we should be able to make it happen. Yeah. We'll figure it out. But I, okay, okay, see so that. Go, get home, do whatever you need to do. I'm glad you got your computer, yourself so much more. The last time that I spoke to you around this time last night, you were, you were kind of a mess. I know. But thank you for everything. I'm going to talk to you tomorrow, okay? Okay. 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 And do your stuff and enjoy the rest of your evening. You know exactly where I'll be and when I'm getting... The guy 
grandfather is never wrong. Culture just sugaring that dude up. Wow. Beta male provider providing stuff left to right. And she on here talking about how can I find a high value man? And she's out hustling, mother suckers. That's what you heard. Hustle. How can I get myself ready for having? Now, he didn't sound too young, now, did he? He sounded every bit in his 40s, Courtney. He sounded every bit in his 40s. Every bit in his 40s. You can't make this shit up. You heard that. Wow. You heard it, didn't you? You And the crazy thing about it was she was messaging me mm -hmm. like, oh, my God. Like, can you give me some advice? Can you give me some tips? So if you are OK with sugar babying a 40 mm -hmm. and 50 year old, why won't you date them? Because you're not serious. Thank you, my sis. She heard the same thing. You. Mm, mm. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Jesus. So to all you women out here, is this how a man should talk to a real mirror man should talk to a woman? I know what I'm doing. That's why I keep blocking y'all because you're going to learn something in this show. Destiny, you heard what I heard. I, I did. I did. I mean, you can't be a dummy. You can't hide that. And, and you know it's a sugar daddy because she has no feelings involved. This man done sent her a laptop. Uh. <laughs> Thomas, some she sounded a mess. She probably done faked the whole. I mean, she. This is what they call finesse, Kevin. Finesse, ma, finesse, finesse, and this is why they will put their energy in finessing somebody instead of finding somebody that you can really have that life with. You have to be genuine, though. And that's, you can't fake it. That's why she was trying to finesse me. That's why when I walked away, I'm like, you can't finesse me, baby. And I'm like, I know what I even, hmm, I know what I'm reading when I read it. I'm an, mm, wow. So, wow. That's, I'm going to make a whole show on you. She, mm. All right, Ma, you got anything before we get up out of here? I'm, Kevin, you know, I'm speechless. I, the Lord the moves mysterious thing, ways. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I can really say, Kevin, is, Continue to do what you do. The ones that really see that it's a problem and the ones that really actually want to change it, we are going to find ways to do it. We're not going to sit here and say, okay, it's us. People should, should I, I should find somebody to understand us. No, you have to do the work and understand what that person wants from you and really be honest with yourself and really tell yourself, are you willing to give that person what they want in order for you to have what you want? It's a mutual beneficial relationship. Man, look. <sighs> Man, I'm speechless. I'm like, wow. Thanks, Ma. I, I appreciate it. I got it. Wow. Thanks, Kevin. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Man. It's not